Another grey, wet day in London. International students definitely don't come here for the weather. They put up with the rain and grey skies because elite British universities are respected around the world. The University College London attracts more EU students than any other British university. But up and down this country, there are around about 127,000 students from the EU studying here. Now, they generate around $5 billion every year for this economy, but that is now at risk. The UK has already seen a 7.4% drop in applications from the EU, but some are predicting in the coming years those figures could be much, much worse. Students from the EU currently pay the same tuition as British students, but Brexit could mean they have to pay the same as students from, say, America or China, and that would be unaffordable for many. Hello. Hello, welcome you? to UCL. Thank you very much. UCL's Ludwig Hyman has been looking at the impact of Brexit on UK universities' funding. Well, Brexit is a concern um, to British higher education because it's going to affect not only students, but staff, uh, researchers, lecturers, and it's going to affect funding, um, research funding especially. At a graduation ceremony nearby, we find proud parents and graduates from all over Europe celebrating their success. They've just escaped the impact of Brexit, but do feel a little sorry for the next batch of students. Brexit is definitely bothering them. Um, it has such a big impact on the movement of young people, where they can study, and it will have impacts on the jobs they might get after graduating. I think Brexit will put people off to come to England because um, so it will be more difficult to get jobs after university, so more people will want to go to other universities in other countries where it's actually free. There will be the added problem of not only will they have to still pay the extortionate amounts that you have to in Britain anyway, but their potential cut-off of the freedom of movement means that they then might have to pay what overseas students have to pay as well. But Brexit doesn't necessarily mean disaster for UK universities. Diana Beach from the Higher Education Policy Institute says universities could actually make more money depending on the type of Brexit negotiated. We're hoping for a soft Brexit. Um, our research has shown that if student fees go up, we could have a, a depreciation of students of 57%, um, so that's a drop in students of 57%, um, but we could actually gain from more international students benefiting from the devaluation of the pound, so seeing 20,000 more students coming here. But to get that, we actually need the UK to be accessible. Brexit negotiations are a bit like the British weather, unpleasant, unpredictable. And universities and students are hoping the Brexit cloud will lift soon. But certainty will only come once negotiations are completed sometime in the next two years. Matthew Moore, TRT World, London.